Green broadcast. All right, Periscope. See what we got turned around here, buddies. All right, let's get going here. Good morning out there in Periscope land. All right. We'll get going here in a second. Hold on. I need a little music. Get going here. I know you guys are still half asleep out there. This is the 0900 prayer request, and we're broadcasting from the center of the universe. That's my home. All right, here we go. Take a listen. Hey, Abershan. Welcome to the 0900 prayer request there, people. You one of them people, right? I hear that. Before I was a Christian, he was one of my favorites. I went to a lot of shows down at the Keel Auditorium. Stevie Wonder was 12 years old then. Can you say that about your life now? Can you testify that your life is because God did it for you because you love him and serve him Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Can you say God did it? Are you still out there thinking you can do it on your own? You got that little degree behind your name. You think you're a hot shot now. Oh, if I just get it, I'll be okay.
Welcome to the 0900 prayer request. We'll begin in just a minute. The name of the song is God Did It by Evelyn Adji. This is a gospel legend. All these people in this group are singers, and they get together every year. Welcome to the 0900 Prayer Request. We'll begin in just a second. Enjoy the song, God Did It by Evelyn Adji. Periscope land, do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Have you been spiritually born again, or are you just a religionist, one of them good old boys? Welcome to the 0900 prayer request. We'll begin in just a second. Evelyn Adji's song, God Did It. Amen? It's a great song. All right, let's get a little light here. Wow, I'll go crazy here. Amen. This is the 0900 prayer request time. Let's get something else going here. Let me get this screen turned back around here a little bit. All right. Today is the day that the Lord has made, as they say in the song. But you know something today really isn't the day the Lord made. It's kind of sad in one sense. God's plan wasn't for the world to be like it is today. Can you imagine a world living where you're never going to die? And you don't know right from wrong. You're innocent. You have no evil thoughts. You're not jealous, angry, mad at anyone. Can you imagine a world like that? 
I know it's kind of hard to see it, but maybe the closest thing, I guess, about the closest thing we can come to anything like that. Well, let me see if I can get this turned down here. Oh, wrong remote. Can't do it with that. The closest thing that we can ever uh, get to having a world without sin, degradation, jealousy, hatred, bury, and strife, and things like that. I think the only time you can ever enter anything remotely close to that is when you're holding a baby in your arms. And that little baby down doesn't know anything but just smiling up at you and loving you. And you know that that little baby doll is completely innocent, doesn't know anything of the future that's coming into their little lives. They're happy. Just give them a little milk, give them a little change now and again, they're good to go. And they grow up to be something big and special, all right? So, that baby, I guess, would, in my opinion, would be a good illustration of how you can be involved in innocence. All right. They don't know you. They don't know anything about your mean ways or anything. They don't know how stubborn and and uh, tough you can be. They don't know nothing. But can you imagine a world that there's no pain, sickness, or sorrow? That's the way this world was before sin entered. And the illustration I'm giving this morning about sin in this world is when you hold a baby and that baby's perfectly innocent. It doesn't know anything. For you guys that just tuned in here, this is the 0900 prayer request. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary and I'm broadcasting from right here in Missouri. My home, right? This is the center of the universe. All things start here at my home. Boom! <laughs> Get to your own this morning. I thought to ran across my mind this morning as we listened to our music again, and it was about innocence. Could you imagine a world with no pain, suffering, or sorrow? Well, there was a world like that. A lot of people say and ask questions to Selma and I, my wife, why does God allow this to happen? Why does God allow that to happen? This, that, every, every um, terrific, horrible thing that happens, they immediately blame God. But you never hear anything about them folks beforehand. You never hear anybody say, oh, what a great day. Let's praise God. Give him the glory. Let's praise him on the mountaintop. You don't hear nothing from these folks. But as soon as something goes sideways, they're right out there to blame God. You ask the people, any of them, many times, well, why aren't you praising God for when you when there isn't anything going? How come we don't hear from you? Do you know why? Because they're haters of God. All right? The Bible talks about a characteristic of a certain sin. And that characteristic holds true for a lot of other people that are and it's this that people invent ways to do evil invent ways to do evil all right now I know a lot of you think well how can a man cause an earthquake it's not that man caused the earthquake per se. I mean, unless he didn't disrupt the, the earth's crust by dropping a bomb on it or something and, you know, whatever. But just, just as the old natural things that we call natural acts of God, well, a man can come right along right behind that and he can twist that story to it's God's fault. And they create evil when there was no evil with God involved all right this thing against God is is the heart of sin sin is this absolute rebellion to God and there is no in sin there's no oh I'm gonna I not this is a little difficult to explain but a Christian can be free of sin but this actual spiritual state called sin 
is uh, is um, is evil. That's that's the word that we describe sin as evil. Sin itself, the very acts of sin, can never sin can never say, "Oh, I'm going to serve God," and and so now I'm going to sin for I'm going to change from sin to grace. Sin is always going to be; it's an eternal thing, and it was created by an angelic spiritual being, not man, an angelic spiritual being. Before this spiritual being, being there was not known sin. All right, this thing. This spiritual degradation that happened in inside the spiritual realm of heaven were angelic creatures and angels by the by the trillions hosting praise and adoration unto this spiritual substance that man has designated as G.O.D. This one spiritual angel, now, and I, I think this is true, what I'm about to say about everything. I've said it many times, written about it too, that everything that God creates, there's a free will choice. You choose what you want to do. You choose. God gives you this ability called free will. A man, woman, a person of age or region, reason, can choose what they want to do. This is the 0900 prayer request. I'm broadcasting from Missouri. My name is Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I'm 70. My wife, Selma, 69. She would come on at 11 o'clock this morning. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Central Standard Time here in the U.S. And we're broadcasting from my home. And this is the center of the world. Okay? So we're talking about I'm talking about sin, all right? All of these broadcasts I do on Periscope. Oh, by the way, mentioning that, let me uh, share something with you guys. Hold on. Wait for it. You'll love it. All right, guys. Out there in Periscope land. As of today's the 23rd of November, yesterday, as of yesterday, we've had... 236,802 hearts, and we've had 21,097 views as of yesterday. And they're from all over the world, folks, not here in the United States. You know, talking to people in the United States is kind of boring, to tell you the truth, because let me show you something. You see that little periscope map up there? All right. Let me move my camera up just a little bit there. You see that? <laughs> Let me move this a little bit. This here, all these little white tabs all over Canada, down to Brazil, all the way over here in New Zealand, everywhere. These are people that have contacted us. And uh, the greatest concentration has been right here in the Middle East with Islamic people. Islamic people are just like the Protestant Christian religionists. They're the same. Protestant Christian evangelicals. You know, you hear about them on the news and whatnot here in the United States, Europe, Australia, Asia and Southeast Asia. They're just like Islamists. All right? They are religionists. They're just doing good things. They're good people. Don't get me wrong. They're not out shooting and killing people. Hindus. Buddhists. Roman Catholics. Jehovah Witnesses. Mormons. Evangelical Protestant Christian religionists. Mennonite Amish. They're all religionists. Lutheran. Presbyterian. Baptist. Religionists. Their doctrines mean absolutely nothing. Zero. 
Now, you might say, how could I possibly say that? Because each of these religious organizations write out their own belief system. And they all say they believe in the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament. <coughs> they all say they believe in Jesus. They all say the same thing. Except those, you know, the four out cults. And then they write down what they think each thing means as they see it and as they want it. And that writings of men becomes their traditional writings and it becomes the gospel message of salvation. If you agree with this church group, you can be part of that church group. You sign on a dotted line, say you'll support them, give them money and all that, and you're in. You don't like it going down to another one. They believe something totally different. And they, oh, yeah, we all love God. We all love Jesus. And yeah, we believe that Bible. And they're lying through their teeth, folks. Just check out their doctrine. Don't listen to me. Just Google. Mr. Google, he's a fantastic guy. He's not prejudiced. He'll go right to the heart of anything. All right, check it out. And you'll find the basic tenets of this book are not practiced by 99% of the so-called evangelical Protestant Christians. It, it's a sham. It's a joke. All right? Don't believe it, folks. You're held accountable for what you read in the New Testament. This is the only book inspired from God to man, the New Testament. You're going to read it. You're going to decide. You're going to do it or not. You're going to, I'm not going to convince you. I don't want to convince you. I don't have to defend God. Either you're going to love him with all your mind, heart, and soul, or you're going to go to the fire. Again, this book is about heaven and hell. That's all. <laughs> let's, let's cut to the chase, folks. That's what it's about. You want to go to heaven? The only way you're going to get there is through this loving, atoning work of Christ and the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You're, that's the only way you're going to get there, by believing in Him. If you don't, you're going to hell, okay? You think you're a Roman Catholic? You think you're going to go to heaven because you do what the Pope and the church says? You do your rosary, pray to the saints? and pour out your heart to the Immaculate Conception, you're going to burn in the fire. You can say them beads on a string all you want. It's not going to get you anywhere. You can live in the 18th century like the Amish or Mennonite, and you're going to burn in that fire. Why? Because you reject the tenets, the basic commands of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist. You do. Not my interpretation. You're going to read it. You're going to decide. Do I believe what Jesus says? I, I just can't stress that enough to you folks. It's up to you. <laughs> if you run to some church house, say, here's, the, here's, here's what people do. People run to a church house and say, Oh, I don't, will you tell, what does this mean? I can't understand this verse. What does this mean? Try to do this. Try to, <laughs> I can't understand. I'm so stupid. Jesus said one thing in this book. Love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. And if you love God with all your mind, heart, and soul, and strength, you're going to do what Jesus commands and teaches in the New Testament. But see, you don't love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. And on top of that, this loving God who will never hurt you, never bring demise into your life, you know what he does? He says, hey, I want you to love me, but I want you to love your neighbor too. What do you think old rebellious man does? Hey, <laughs> No way, Jose, they're out of there. Bingo. You think about all this racism that's in our country now. Them Southern Baptists years ago, they were wearing them little hoodies over their head. They were the white hoodies. They're the real hoodies, okay? They're the same racist, bigoted thing that's going on today in the Southern Baptists. Don't, don't be deceived by all this good works that they're throwing out there like the Messianic Lodge. Evil, blood, <laughs> uh, evil. You don't. You never. You just. You, there's. There's so much that uh, people in the United States don't know about religious practices. It's evil. If you get involved with, it, it's evil. It's anti-God, and they'll who do you and suck you in the Mormons, the Jehovah Witnesses. Until you're like the little, uh, what they call them guys, the Moonies. You remember a couple years back, well, some of you millennials probably don't, but there was a religious fanatical group, and they were called the Moonies. M-O-O-N-I-E-S, Moonies. 
And they were brainwashed robots walking around, do, 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 like little munskins with the Wizard of Oz. Out in La La Land, they're goofy. And that's the way it is today. You know, the Southern Baptists, they actually believe that God chose them before they were born to go to heaven, and they're going to heaven. They don't need Jesus. They don't need the Bible. They don't need nothing. God called them, predestined them to go to heaven, and you, my friend, are going to hell. They don't need the Bible. They've been called of God. <laughs> Deceived. Lulu. 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 La La Land. They're goofy. All right, it's all, and people will follow it. You ask the Southern Baptist, well, well, I'm a, oh, I'm a, I'm a Bible believing, blah, 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 and they don't know what the world they're talking about. Well, the Church of Christ, you've seen the little sign, Church of Christ, they're all over in the United States, right? Do you realize that Church of Christ believes in the Book of Mormon? This hoodoo man named Joseph Smith. <laughs> what a. He's evil personified. And we got the Mormons out here saying they're good. You, you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This book is about heaven or hell. That's what it's about, right? Everybody say the Bible's about being good. If you're not, you're going to go to the fire. They all know that. Even the old worst sinner on the planet knows that. But you go to a Seventh-day Adventist church where Dr. Ben Carson goes, you know something? No, Ben Carson, he's a sharp guy, right? He's not a dummy. He's streetwise and smart, right? Got a lot of education, famous guy today, right? Dr. Ben Carson, who run for the president. He's a seven-day Adventist. Do you know what their core doctrine is? They who do this stuff about being evangelical Christian? They're of the devil. The evangel seven-day Adventists don't believe there's a hell. That's what this whole book is about. Jesus talks about brimstone and fire, a place called hell. <laughs> Nobody checks it out. You see the mainline news media checking this book out. Now, the people in the United States have got this idea that they can believe anything they want. Got a constitutional right. I can believe anything I want. No, you don't. That's a big misconception. The author and finisher of everything says to love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. You don't have an option to do that. And get this. The great command is to love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength and your neighbor. That's not an option. You don't, well, I know I'm supposed to do it, but I decide I'm not doing it. It's not an option. You don't have an option. It's not like buying a car and if after two days you don't like it, you can take it back. You got an option to jump out. No, you don't have any options. You're under the command by the creator of this world and everything known to love him with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. If you don't do that, the fire. And how are you going to know how to do that? Through this book. Do you reject this book? To the fire. All right. Hey, hi, friends. How are you? This is the 0900 prayer request time. I'm broadcasting from Missouri, right there, St. Charles, Missouri. We have an internet radio station, the internet radio station. Hey, I'm good. We have an internet radio station right here. All right, mongnews.org. H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org. Internet radio station. All right. Can you speak Arabic? No. No, can't. Sorry. This is the 0900 prayer request. I am a Protestant Christian missionary. Broadcasting from Missouri. I've been a Protestant Christian missionary for 40 years. Five missionary tours in Southeast Asia, seven years into Mexico. I come on every day at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. Today is Wednesday, and it's the, uh, da, 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 the 23rd, 
So today we've had 21,097 views on Periscope. We have 236,802 hearts so far. I'm from Syria. What do you think for the future of Syria? Syria is a godless country. You have no God. Evil. China, Russia, United States, similar. You think you got it bad in Syria. Let me tell you. In America, American women have killed right at 60 million babies through abortion. You want to hear that again? American women, predominantly white women, have killed 60 million babies through abortion since 1970. How would you like to be a baby coming into this world? Dunka with you. Dunka dollar. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good, huh? All right. So, this is the 0900 prayer request. That means you guys, Periscope Land people. I'm broadcasting from Missouri, right? My dear grandfather. Hey, my dear granddaughter or grandson. Are you going to tell me I'm a lottery winner? <laughs> I'm a multi-billionaire. I've won so many lotteries. I get all these e emails tell me I've won all these lotteries. <laughs> Hey, go to mungnews.org. Hey, Russia. Hi, Russia. Go to mungnews.org and you can see our internet radio station. Mung News, H M O N G N E W S dot org. That's our internet radio station. So if you want to get on radio, you like Trump? Yeah, Trump's all right. I like Clinton. Yes, Clinton's all right. You know why? Donald Trump, Hillary Rodden Clinton, what is your job? I am a Protestant Christian missionary. Trump, Clinton, Obama, do you have a blogger matches? No. I have a website. The website, my blog, is this, mongnews.org. Go there, you'll see. mongnews.org. H-M-O-N-G. NEWS.org. We have an internet radio station. Would you like to see it? I got it right here. Let's see if we can get it up here. Here, take a look. Alright. There's our internet radio station right there. Okay. Russia with US friends. You bet. We were friends before. Let me, hey, forget all them political leaders. Forget all the evil of each, each country. I believe there's Russian people, good old boys, just like me and my wife. I believe a lot of people are like that. There's just a lot of bad, evil people everywhere. They just want to fight in war. Control, it's power. Power, power corrupts, and more power corrupts more absolutely. Okay. This is the 0900 prayer request time, okay? It's about you guys, you in Periscope land, asking for prayer. Help. God wants to help you. He sent Jesus to save you. He's in the helping business. Well, if I said I'd give every you guys $1,000, you'd all be knocking on my door with your hand out. Oh, give me, give me. God said, ask him anything in Jesus' name and he'll do it. You want to try that? You want to try asking God for something? But remember when you ask God, like I've been saying over and over for 40 years, Imperial are even better than USA for 20th century. Yes, okay, I agree. Good. Okay. <laughs> You're great. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't care, really, all right? Oh, 900 prayer request time. This is what it's a book. Uh, what this, this is what it's about. This book, the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament Truths of Jesus, the Apostles, and the Evangelist. Jesus told his disciples, when you pray, our Father who art in heaven, do you know about uh, for... 
Oz Monley. Don't know a thing about it. This is the 0900 prayer request. Do you have a prayer request? Prayer. You talking to God. Do you have a prayer request? Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. This ought to be good. <laughs> Remember, I got the stylus to block you. It's always there. And if I block you, the only way you can get unblocked is you're going to send me an email. And the email is going to be at mungnews.org. All right, you're going to send the email and you're going to say, I was wrong, please forgive me. Not, I'm sorry. So if I block you, that's the only way you get unblocked. You send me an email, normanetker at hotmail.com or questions at mungnews.org. And you'll say, I was wrong, please forgive me. Not you're sorry, it was a joke, da da, no. Nope. So remember that before you say something, if you're going to get blocked, okay? Are you a Muslim? <laughs> Let's try this again. All right, I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. My, my name is Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I'm broadcasting from Missouri. I've been a Protestant Christian missionary for 40 years. I believe only in the God-man Jesus, this book, the Protestant Christian Bible, and only the New Testament truths of Jesus, the apostle and evangelist, are the rule and guide for today's spiritually born-again believers. Protestant, Christian, Evangelical, Religionist, Roman Catholic, Islam, Buddha, mean nothing. There are false and meaningless religions. Want to hear that again? I know you don't like it, but here's the truth. Islam, Roman Catholic, Protestant, Christian, Religionist are all the same, equal, meaningless religionist. Religionist. They practice a religion. It means nothing. Roman Catholic, Protestant Christian religionist, Islamic religionist, Hindu religionist, Buddhist religionist, mean zero, nothing. A religion. Eskimos, people in Africa, practice religions. Voodoo, same as Islam. Voodoo, same as Roman Catholic. Voodoo, same as a Roman Catholic or Protestant Christian religionist. Voodoo is the same thing. It's just a religion. It means nothing. Zero. It can do nothing except make man feel good. You got to pray five times a day. You can't eat food. You can't do this. You got to dress like this. Rules and regulation. Legalism. That's religion. If you don't do what I say, I'm going to kill you probably in the name of God. Just like the Roman Catholic in the past have murdered their millions. Islam murdered their millions. Church of England murdered their millions. Russia murdered their millions. China, their, it goes on and on and on. And they all say, in the name of God. People of Africa hunting, but religion doesn't help people. Religions are no good. All right. I, this is the... <laughs> The CO900 prayer request. You guys got a prayer request? I haven't seen one yet. Come on, come on. I'm broadcasting from Missouri, okay? This is the 0900 prayer request time. We have an internet radio station also. Right here, mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S.org. You can go there on your little LAN computers. Do you realize there's 300 billion computers connected to the internet not smartphones i'm not talking about the smartphones and tablets i'm talking about mini tower laptops connected to the internet they estimated 300 billion and then another 300 billion hey homie what are you doing 
Well, I don't know, brother. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm doing something good, man. Are you doing anything good? Here we are. It is the old 900 prayer request. I'm broadcasting here in Missouri. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary and have been for 40 years. Five missionary tours in Southeast Asia, seven years in Mexico. In Mexico, they were cutting people's heads off. In Mexico, we always prayer request, but it doesn't work. I know you're praying to a false religion. Your religion, the religion doesn't work. Military problems? Yeah, sure, anything. You want a prayer for military problem? We can pray for that. Amen. It, does, it doesn't make any difference. God sent Jesus into the world to save all the world. Even you Muslim, even you Roman Catholics. God sent Jesus to save Protestant, Evangelical, Christian, Religionists too. Now hear this. The Protestant, Evangelical, Christian religionists in the United States are equal to Islam, are equal to Roman Catholic, are equal to Buddhists and Hindus. Their religion, all religions are false and meaningless. They don't do anything. It's a made-up thing by man, man's religion. The Pope makes it up for the Catholics. All right. Here we go. This is the 0900 prayer request. Amen. Do you believe in Christian science? Oh, man. That's evil. Mama. Selma. What? I have a person ask me if I believe in what our if I believe in Christian science. Oh. <laughs> That's you, right? Yes. That's an evil, evil thing. Y'all listen to my wife's testimony, Selma's testimony. Uh, it's evil, folks. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about that. You don't know. Because you're in evil. You're in the darkness. You guys listening to me right now, look, I got nine of you out there. Look, you guys, you're in darkness, spiritual darkness. Okay, and I know that. Okay, and the only way you're going to get out is loving on Jesus, okay? And you guys, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to read this book. It's the New Testament. You're going to read it. You're going to say, I believe Jesus or I don't. It's not according to me or some church house. It's going to be up to you. You're going to read the book, New Testament. You're going to say, hey, I believe this Jesus. Or you're going to say, no, I don't. Don't you go to hell, okay? Christians believe to science as Islam as to even. Uh, uh, hey, good morning. Welcome to the 0900 prayer request time. Let's see if we get some music going here. All right, just bear with me just a second there, folks. I have to do something here on the screen. All right, uh, okay. Hey, uh, Lad Re join. Hey, are you guys in the states that are looking at me now? I got a favor to ask of you. Hey, man, how are you? Hey, man, Lad, Lad, Lad Reed. Where are you at? What country are you in? Where are you at, man? Antarctica. Hey, are you by? Are you by your laptop? Are you by your computer? Can you go online on your computer? Ya, kuti. Yep. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. Go here to this website, all right, mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S.org, and you'll see the radio link. Click that radio link and tell me if the radio is playing, all right? I'm having issues with this, and uh, so let me see. I, I've tried on my computers here, and uh, the link comes up, uh, and but I 
it just continually loops in loading. It won't play. That is the radio player. So if you go to here, mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S, and you can see, you, you'll see our, here, I'll show you. I have it right here, too. <laughs> All right, here's what you're going to see right here. Let me load here. Mongnews.org, this is what you're going to see. All right. One second, I'm back soon. Okay, here, here's what you're going to see. This is our website. Listen, whoops. I hope you can see that. That's what you're going to see, and you'll see this link right here. Click to go to Internet Radio. You'll go. I want to see if, if the music is playing. we got things running. But when I click it, I go to the radio, but I don't hear anything. It just is it's giving me the message. It's just loading. And then I'm in, in contact with uh, support. You can see there is our... That's the radio player. When you click on from any computer in the world, this is what you're seeing. But it won't it won't load. It just keeps running a continuous loop to load, but it never loads. So, if you could take a look at that and tell me if you're if the radio I've had uh, one tech guy tell me he can listen to it. And I find it difficult or I don't understand how can you give the address again? Yeah, it's right here. Mongnews.org. That's our website. Mongnews, H-M-O-N-G, Mong, News, N-E-W-S, dot org. All right? And you'll see our link there to the radio station, Internet Radio. Just click it, and uh, you'll see exactly what I got here. This is what you're going to see. And on mine, I'm broadcasting here in Missouri, and... Uh, it just stays in a loop. It won't load what I got in the queue or ready to play. All right, and my tech support guy, uh, Spatial.com, is telling me he can listen to it on his. And uh, I just don't understand how he can hear it, and we can't. Or it's loading, and it doesn't load here. He's he has changed, the tech man has changed the stream rate, I've rebooted the system several times now, and it's still, I'm still having an issue. I, and so I'm wondering if you guys, if you're on your computers, you're hearing it. It loads and everything's working on you, all right? So that's my question for you guys this morning before we get started. If you could just get on your computer, hop on there, click on the link, and see if it plays, all right? It's going to load a little bit, but it should go ahead and play because everything's up in the queue to play on the radio broadcast system side through the control panel. Hey, how you doing there, Ladry? All right, did you get an answer? Hey, James, good side. Okay, did the radio play, the internet radio? Did it? Did you hear the music on the radio? When you click, yes. Hello. Well, how can that be? Really? Yeah, and he's in Antarctica. I'm talking to Selma here. We've been having this problem for this is the third day now. Uh, I can I can hear it inside of our broadcast control panel, but when we click on in our in our laptops and go to there, we can't. It just loads. Like right now, you can see. Here it's just loading. Check where in Yucca or my city. Yuktia. Yuktia. Oh, that's a name, isn't it? Yeah, we've been watching these uh, ice pilots on TV on Netflix. They got the show about Buffalo Airlines flying around up there. You know. Uh, so, I don't know if they're still in business up there in the Arctica. Uh, Yellowknife is where they're flying out of. That's their headquarters. Buffalo Airlines. We've been watching it on TV series on Netflix called Ice Pilots. All right? All right. Well, we need to get down to business here. All right? All right. So... Uh, all right. 
Hey, hey. Normal weather now, for example, 50, minus 50, okay, business, all have tie this, okay? All right, well, good, good. All right, well, thank you for that information. Appreciate you doing it. Do you speak Russian? Yeah, I know Russian. That's that's about all I know, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't know Russian. I do good to speak English. Can't do that half the time. All right, let me get some music on here. And we're just going to have to deal with that a little bit later. Uh, all right, let's see what's going on here. Hold on a minute, folks. I got to get this back running again. I need a little music in the background. Uh, I don't think we got anything. Okay, hold on. I got to get some music. Hold on. Wait for me, folks. Wait for you. Wait for me, won't you? Please, please wait for me. All right, here we go. Let me get some up here. Give me some cool, man. I like to, I like to run this in the background. I know some people might not like it. They go nuts. All right. All right. Let's see. What we get going here. And let me get this over here. All right, happy Thanksgiving, God bless you. Well, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. I know it's gonna sound kind of hard. <laughs> okay, I know your I know your intentions are good when you say that. And I just don't know how to explain this burden that's in my heart. But it's like I'm in a, it's like I'm in a, technology is wonderful, but frustrating sometimes. Yes. Did you go to mongnews.org? Did the radio player play on your site there, young lady? Mongnews.org. Did you go there too or not? H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S. The radio did not play. Ah. Russian girls are beautiful. Good project. Success. Future. Yes. Thank you, Antarctica. But look. This is the 0900 prayer request. Right? This is what this is about. In regards to your, your greeting... Uh, happy Thanksgiving and God bless you. Here's what I, here's what Selma and I are experiencing in our life. As you know, I'm a Protestant Christian missionary and been one for 40 years. But now I'm 70 and Selma 69. I've had five missionary journeys in, in tours in uh, Southeast Asia and seven years in Mexico. Only about the Protestant Christian Bible, we don't represent any church and their doctrines. And the church doctrines are not good. God again, attack my bedroom, okay? All right, thank you for uh, God attacking your bedroom, all right? So, uh, I feel like I'm in a two-story building. And the two-story building this is an analogy, is on fire, all right? And I'm standing in the hallway leading to the exit. And I'm saying to people, come this way, come this way, come this way. And the people want to stay in their rooms. They don't want to, they don't believe that there's a fire going on in the house that they're in. And I'm standing on the stairway telling people, come on, come on, get out. You're going to die in there. Come on, the smoke, the fire, the flame, you're going to die. Come on out. Come on out of that house. And I'm, I'm telling them because I can see the smoke rising. I can see that all of a sudden the flames are going to burst through the wood. And the whole thing is going to go up. And I'm yelling at the people, come out, come out, come on, This the exit way is clear, get out, get out. And the people aren't listening. So when I hear, and I mean, it's strange, I'm, I'm a strange fellow, or right? I'll tell you, I'm, I'm not the normal guy. But when I hear, you said, 
God bless you. God doesn't want to bless his people. God wants to save his people. And that's really what's going on. God doesn't bless sin and rebellion, stiff neck, refuse to submit to the Lord Jesus Christ, refuse to believe the Bible truth. God doesn't bless sinners. God sent his son Jesus, this God man Jesus. Hey, you're in space. Thank you, cyberspace. So, God sent Jesus to save the world, not to condemn it, but to save it. Not to sugarcoat, oh, everything's good, have a great day, God bless you, and all that. I mean, I know that's, you're not, your intentions aren't what I'm saying. But I'm telling you, as a spokesman for God, it's, you're in a real mess. And people don't want to come out of their rooms. The rooms are being their own little self-centered life. No matter where you're at. How God locked all people. We have 70 billion eyes. Yes. Look good. Yes. Everything look good. All right. All right. Again, I would like people go here and uh, look. Go to mongnews.org if you would do a radio check for me. If you go to mongnews.org, it's H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S org on your computer. You get it on your smart. You are not alone in those fears or in seeing what you see. You're doing exactly what God has asked us to do. That's right. And I'm not letting up on it. And it applies to my family, and I got a lot of kids too that aren't aren't right, and they know they're not right. They're running, ducking, and hiding, just like a lot of people in the church houses. You got a lot of Protestant Christian religions to go in these churches. They know they're not right with God. They know they're not serving God with all the mind, heart, soul, and strength. They know that. They don't. They know they don't have that fire in their in their belly to lead people to the saving knowledge of Jesus. And they've been playing again. Their mind is getting seared by, by false Protestant Christian evangelical pastors in all denominational churches. It's like, oh, don't worry about that. Let's collect diapers. We got a church here collecting diapers. You got other ones that do every kind of thing. I know you pray for us. No others are praying with you and for your message to be heard. Ah, hey, you're, that's an uplifting thing. Thank you very much. We have this, uh, you know, I've experienced a lot of things in God. I'm, I'm, I was saved in 1974, and I was water baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. By immersion, I accepted Christ my Lord and Savior. The elders of this full gospel fellowship prayed for me. I found myself speaking in tongues. I never read the Bible. I didn't know nothing. Didn't go to church. I didn't know nothing. I was 28 years old. And so when I read the Bible, the New Testament, I was able to read it through the old and new for about the first year of my Christian walk, about three times through. And I just thought everybody loved the Lord. It was going to the houses with them crosses on the top. I'd walk in there. I'd lift my hand, praise the Lord. Well, them ushers come up and escorted me out. They didn't like that. And I had to learn the hard way that people don't believe in the speaking in tongues stuff. I thought, what? Why? What? It's right here in the Bible. I, and I'm so naive. You understand? I thought people really believed that Bible. And now, 40 years later, 40 years later, the church is in worse shape than it was 40 years ago. It's a sad, sad thing because people are choosing not to serve the Lord. It's like the old story of the frog in the in the in the pan of water on the stove. He jumps in that water, thinking, "Hey, man, this is cool. I like this environment." And the fire's turned up, and the old frog doesn't realize he's cooking. Ah, I just can't tell you. And yet, when you talk to people over and over, you talk to people, and I. I don't, and I'm not a forceful guy. 
I just tell you straight out, you're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. You know, that's it. Your choice. You're going to read the New Testament. You're going to read. You're going to decide. There's nobody going to tell you this or that. You're going to read. You're going to decide. It's all on you. And we have a free will to choose. And But God's grace, His power, strength, love, and favor enables us to help to choose that. It's, grace is like a big guy. Uh, it's like a net that's around all the people of the world. The New Testament says wherever sin and evil is, grace much more abounds. This net of grace around all six or seven billion people on the planet, it kind of holds, uh, holds at bay evil so that humans can use their free will and say, oh, in a particular point in time in their life, that grace is going to affect them. They're going to say, wow, I sense a presence of God in my life, and He's really wanting me to get right with Him. And if you don't act within that period of time that that grace is real to you, it slides away. And all of a sudden, God drifts further and further away from you, and you have no idea that you're the frog cooking in the water. Amen. So, again, if you, if any of you guys come back on, go to mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S, and if you click on that radio icon, and if you can hear on your computer or your smartphone, if you go to mongnews.org, let me know if you can hear the radio station. All right? Just click it on the radio. A player will come up on your computer, but and you'll see it's loading. Let me know if it loads for you. I've got in contact with uh, spatial.com tech support, and the tech support guys tell me he, he can listen to our... Uh, radio broadcast on there okay but i okay so again if anyone out there go to mongnews.org and click on the internet radio link on our website it's at mongnews.org and let me know just get right back to me and let me know if you if the radio is playing all right because i can i can go on and broadcast live that's what i want to do but I'm having an issue with this radio player from our website. So if you wouldn't mind, do me a favor. Go to mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org. Yeah, it's our website. And click on the internet radio, and the player comes up, and you'll see it's loading. And tell me if you can hear the music playing or the scriptures or whatever is playing at that time. Let me know and come back to me here on Periscope, would you? All right, I want to know. We, I, on our laptops here and smartphone, we're, we're not... The link works. It goes to the radio player, but it's in a continuous loop to load. And it, there's no sound for us. But I've contacted tech support, and they say that they're listening to it. So I don't know how they can listen to it, and we can't. All right, so if you would, go to mongnews.org and click on the Internet Radio. You'll see it right there on the page. Click, and you'll see the player come on, and let me know if that player's working. If you could do that, just give me a, a shout back here, all right? All right, I appreciate it. You need to go. Either you can do your smartphone or your tablet. You know, either way does or on your computer. But if you can do that, go to mongnews.org and let me know, okay? I know there's a couple of people looking at me now. So if you can do that, let me know if the radio is working, loading, and let it, let it cycle a little bit, you know, maybe 10 or 15 seconds, 20 seconds, you'll see the little wheel spinning. But if it loads and plays, would you please let me know? I, we need to check this out, okay? On our two computers here and the smartphones we have, it's not loading. But yet the spatial tech guy says it's loading where he's at. And only, only our great father in heaven knows where tech support people are today. <laughs> All right, so 
If you can do that, I appreciate it. All right? And get back to me right now. Just say, hey, I checked it out. It doesn't work or it is working. All right? Let me know. Hey, this is me, Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary broadcasting here in Missouri. Hey. Hey, there, uh, Smithy. Smitty, are you, hey, you got a computer by you somewhere? Would you go here? Look, this is our website. No. Oh, well, what good are you, man? <laughs> hey, man, I need you to check something out. Use your smartphone. Go here to our website, mongnews.org. Okay, got it? H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S. mongnews.org. And can you pray for me? I will if you do this for me, okay? <laughs> Quid pro quo. <laughs> Would you go here to mongnews.org, all right? Now, look, I'll pray for you. All right, don't get me wrong, okay? But I need you to check. Go to mongnews.org and click on that radio link and tell me if the radio is working. The, uh, my, the radio, we have a... We have an internet radio station, right? And so, but the player isn't working here on our computer. And I want to check the, the tech support guy says that he can listen to it. So I would like for you to do a check. All right, go to mongnews.org, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S. The devil took my soul. He didn't take it. He's got it right now. All right. And I know you're making a joke, but you're the frog in the water cooking. All right. Hey, go here, though, really. Go to mongnews.org. HMO. This is not some kind of trick, folks. Okay. I'd like for you to help me out here. Okay. Go to mongnews.org and click on the internet radio and see if the radio player is playing or if it's still in a continuous loop. Okay. Would you do that? Or my side's a safe side. There's no viruses. There's no nothing. I'm just asking you to give me a check on it, okay? Again, uh, spatial.com tech support is telling me that they can listen to it, but we can't. We can't get it on our two computers here. All right. You want some money? No. I don't want any money. I don't need any money. Do me a favor, will you? Go here to mongnews.org. And click on the radio link and let me know if it's working. What's it about? White boy. <laughs> Come on, give the old cracker man a chance, will you? Will you go here and check it out? There's, this is no scam. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> Look, we're, we have an internet radio station, right? I'm 70. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I wouldn't hoodoo you, man. All right? Come on. Poor five. Boy, give me a break. All I want you to do is click on the radio and tell me if it's working or not. Hello? Okay? All right. We got to keep going here. It's not about radio time. It's about you time. All right? I'll give you a little eubonics out there. How's that? Okay? I'm good at eubonics. I have, I put together a couple of dictionaries in my day, so I know something about this word loan or word borrowing into other languages. And eubonics is the same thing. It's interesting when you... It, you ought to read from the American Bible Society, which you can do now. You can go ask your friend, Mr. Google, and you can go to the American Bible Society and you can read the American Negro New Testament. And it's in eubonics. And you, and really, you can hear the, the slang talk that you can hear today from the American uh, Negroes is based from this. All right? The devil says God doesn't get it. Yes, you're absolutely right. True. But he's a spirit. <laughs> so you have another spirit telling you this spirit doesn't exist, so why would you believe that spirit? So, so, ah. Okay, this is the 0900 Prayer Request Time. My name is Missionary Norm Nectar. I'm broadcasting from my home. St. Charles, Missouri, right here. 
St. Charles, Missouri, my home, is the center of the universe. Oh, okay, you got that? I thought that would rock your boat a little bit. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys out there. If you're in the States, you know what it means. But I do hope that you guys will give your heart to Christ. You fine? I'm fine. Did you go to mungnews.org and check out was the radio playing working or not? Poor Fabo, will you help me out here? You have someone cooking? Yes, Selma, my wife. We got the turkey in, man. It's cooking right now. It's 9.30 in the morning here. I'm broadcasting from Missouri. All right? Right there. That's Missouri. Hey, look, do me a favor, guys. There's four of you online here. How old are you? I'm I'm 70. Selma, 69. Hey, look, we have an internet radio station, okay? Would you guys give me a check? Go to mungnews.org on your computer, or you can do your smartphone, whatever, tablet. Mung News, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S. Click on the internet radio and let me know, would you please... Let me know if the radio player's working. On our computer, what you do, do for a living? I'm still doing what I do for a living. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary, all right? But you guys, please go here, hit that radio player, and you'll see the radio player will come up. I'm having a technical issue with this because on our computers, it's just loading. It's in stuck in a loop, all right? So pray for me, I'm lost. Yes. I can't do nothing about it. All I can do is point you to the exit out of your sin. That's Christ Jesus. It's up to you to want to turn to Jesus. Your free will. I can't do any more than that. I can't cross your free will. I can't make you do anything. I don't want to. If you don't love Jesus, you don't want forgiveness, it's on you, my man. All right, please, someone go there, mungnews.org. Click on that radio player. Where can I find him? <laughs> that's a that's a really a good question. You're in this dark room. Do you see a light anywhere in the room? Think about that. Where do you think you're going to find him? Do you see a light? Do you have a direction? Can I get some of you guys to go to mungnews.org, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S, and would you click the radio link? We have an internet radio station where we have a technical issue. The radio here is showing it continuously loading and doesn't play. Can you guys, the tech support at spatial.com, are telling me that they can hear the radio playing? Well, we can hear it here on our laptops, and we have a smartphone too, and it doesn't play. All right, it just it shows it in a continuous loop, loading. It never loads. All right. So, would you guys check? Go to mungnews.org, click on the link, and just let me know if it works or not, please. All right, that's all I'm asking. H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org. Click the radio, internet radio link, and you'll see the player pop up and tell me if you hear the music or hear our, what's being said. That's all I'm asking. If you can do that for me, I appreciate it. All right. If you have any questions or anything, you can send questions right here too. Questions at mungnews.org. All right. You got comments, suggestions, anything, you can send them there. Hey, Selma. Could I get a little coffee? All right. That's my wife, Selma. All right. This is the 0900 prayer request. We our Protestant Christian missionaries. All right. I live in St. Charles, Missouri now, Selma and I. All right. This is Missouri. Today here in the United States is Thanksgiving. All right. And it's, a, it's an interesting phenomenon about Thanksgiving. You know, the uh, people that came here to America and we really got started up in the Northeast. 
you know, it was it was the mercy of God that helped the early white people settle. Because God's mercy had the American Indians helping them in a strange sort of way to survive these these first extremely cold and bitter winters in the Northeast. And sad to say, it didn't work out well in that relationship with the American Indians and the white man. But what's really sad about it, the Declaration of Independence was written in 1700. But in 1600, the same white people that wrote the Declaration, or the descendants of the white people that first settled, in 1600, in the Northeast, those same white people were importing black people from Africa as slaves. It's really a sad, sad story. And when they wrote the Declaration of Independence, do you think that they said the God of the Christian Bible? No. You read it. It's only it's a short little thing, the Declaration of Independence. It says the laws of nature. <laughs> Laws of nature are kill or be killed. That's the laws of nature. You watch any kind of program, what's going on? It's it's either surviving and the fittest survive and the others are just killed off. And that's the attitude that this the our forefathers had by enslaving people from Africa and bring them to this country in the 1600s, a hundred years before the Declaration of Independence was written. And the Bible is very clear about loving God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength and your neighbor. Well, you don't enslave another person and treat him as a subhuman with no rights. Can you please pray for my friend Dominic? He hates God. Okay, look. Can I explain something about this? I am a Protestant Christian missionary, and I can pray to God. But I have no power over another person. God does not have power over another person's free will. I can't pray that Dominic change his mind. He likes the IRA. Yes, Dominic is Dominic is the world. I okay, I want you to really realize that a lot of people say things like this to me. Would you pray for my son that he would become a Christian? Would you pray for my daughter? Would you pray for this? He's a drug addict. He's uh, he's a thief. He's a criminal. He's in prison. Would you pray for my sister? She married a doctor, and they think they don't need God. My husband's a firefighter, policeman, and they don't go to church, and they just think just being a good person is all you got to be in this world. Would you pray that they would accept Christ as their Lord and Savior and live for God? Would you pray for my husband that he would turn and go to the church? Would you pray for this and pray for... You, me, there's no one's prayer going to... Can you pray for my friend Matt? He's gay. Again, you can't... Pray over a person's free will. Can you understand that? All right. Free will. Okay, not okay, so this I cannot force someone to change. He needs purifying. Okay, the world. Okay, look, look, okay, hold on. God sent Jesus to save the world. Okay? Not to condemn the world, to save the world. So all I can do, and okay, he didn't. He didn't save the world. 
The opportunity to be saved is here for all people. It's a done deal already. Okay? Get this. Jesus, when he shed his blood and offered his body as a living sacrifice for the sins of the world 2,000 years ago, the God part of Jesus, he failed in his mission. In your opinion, yes. In your opinion, he failed. Okay? But, the God part of Jesus took the wrath and punishment for all sin, past, present, and future. That's what happened when the God-man Jesus died on the cross. You remember the part in the scripture where Jesus calls out from the cross, Oh, my Father, why have you forsaken me? It was at that moment that all the sin, wrath, and punishment for every sin that's ever been committed in the past, present, and our future until God descends from heaven with the heavenly city to Jerusalem, all sin was forgiven. The wrath. That's why today you can accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. The world, the people, don't know that though. My gay friend Matt is going to hell for his sins. Yes, he doesn't. No, you're wrong, really. No person goes to hell for sinning. You understand? People don't go to hell because they're killed someone, they're homosexual, they're, they're a pedophile, murderer, a mayor, a president. Why are you lying to me? People, listen to me. Okay, people don't go to hell for what they do, the acts that they commit. The only reason people go to hell is because they reject this, the truth. Pedophile should be executed. How, for how long, bro? Look, this here is the Protestant Christian Bible. This is the Old and the New Testament, right? This book, the New Testament, the words of Jesus, the apostles, and the evangelists, tells the world how to be saved and go to heaven. This book is about heaven or hell. People go to hell because they refuse to believe this book. Okay? That book is a lie. This book being made by people. This is the only divine inspired book from God to man. Now, okay? Now you can uh, you can have opposition to that statement. It's okay. But eventually you're going to read or you're going to hear about the New Testament truths of Jesus. And you're going to make a decision. You're going to say, it's a lie, I don't believe it. And then if that is the case, you're going to hell. The reason you go to hell is because you reject the Savior who saved you from hell. You say, no, I don't believe you saved me. That's what sin, deception, that's what it does to man. Man doesn't realize that he's in the pit of hell in his life. He doesn't realize that. What he's trying to do, man today is trying to make his life better. Make a little money. All right? The government was controlled by the saners than more than this. Okay, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't understand all that, but. All right. Let me get my stylus. Hold on here. I got to find my stylus. Hold on, guys. Quit your... Hey, do me a favor. Will you guys please do me a favor? Hey, look. Hurry up. Okay, here we go. We have an internet radio station. I'm having a technical problem with it. Would you please, someone go to our station and click on the link to the internet radio and when the radio player comes on, tell me if it's working or if it's stuck in a loop. All right? Go to mongnews.org. All right? If you do that for me, I appreciate it. Just do it on your computer or your smartphone. No, you're getting, you're getting old. I am old. Hello, duh. Okay? If you do me a favor, look. It looks just like, well, on ours, but that's, okay? When you go there, 
to mongnews.org, you'll see the internet link. Huh? Just click it and tell me if you can hear it. All right, let's see. Hi. Wow. Are you a preacher? Zero one. Hi, Grandpa. Yeah, I am a preacher man. All right. Grandpa, hi, grandson or granddaughter. I don't know which is which. You look like the type of guy who touches kids. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm Kaza. Okay, can you help me out? All right. Look, this is the 0900 prayer request time. Got a, I'm getting a bunch of loonies on, I see, coming down the pike at me. All right. All right. So... Here we have, this is a pervert here, so we're going to block you, all right? I on your loonies. <laughs> I blocked one, so we're on. We're moving on here. This is the 0900 prayer request time, guys. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. Let me give you some stats here. Hold on. Let me find my deal here. All right, here we go. You ready for this? I got four of you. Have you ever given someone? Oh, today we're at twenty-one thousand two hundred and eighteen views, two hundred and thirty-seven thousand and thirty-five hearts. Okay. Again, on Periscope we have twenty-one thousand two hundred and eighteen views, and two hundred and thirty-seven thousand. And 35 hearts. This is the 0900 prayer request time. My name is Missionary Norman Hector. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. Been one for 40 years. Five missionary tours in the Southeast Asia and seven years in Mexico. Amen. So, I've been broadcasting on Periscope for, well, 11 months now. All right. So, <clears throat> Okay, uh, look, this is, you know, as you can see, this is a stylus, and uh, people that get blocked, they can be unblocked when they send me an email, all right? And in the email, you can send the email at questions, mongnews.org, questions, mongnews.org, and in the email, you're going to say, they are going to say this. I was wrong, please forgive me. Not, I'm sorry, or uh, I was making a joke, no. The words to get unblocked is, I was wrong, please forgive me. And then it can be unblocked. Your friend Dominic chooses to lead his life the way he does. I can't pray over his free will, just like I can't pray over yours. Block people don't us because you block. No, I have I make a point to tell people before they're blocked. But some of them are so raunchy that I, I <laughs> you understand? So you can't. So Anyway, you can relate that to him if he's your friend and you can see if he wants to come back. All he's got to do is say, I was wrong, please forgive me. And you know he's not going to say it just like I know he will because he's a stiff-necked, rebellious guy, all right, or a gal, whatever the case might be. It's the 0900 prayer request. You want to guys want prayer, you're going to have to be sincere when you ask. Now look, Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. Now hear it. He said to his dis Jesus said to his disciples, he was going to teach them how to pray. He said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So when you ask for prayer, you're saying, God in heaven, I'm asking in Jesus' name for your will to be done regarding my prayer request. Okay? Okay, and he works way he hates Protestants. What's your email? Right here, mongnews.org. Send questions, questions here. All right, questions at mongnews.org. 
All right. What is your name? My name is, show me again. All right, take a screenshot. My name is Missionary Norman Etker. Here, let me show you here. Norman Etker. We're everywhere, folks. Want to take another screenshot? Norman Etker. O-E-T-K-E-O. We're broadcasting from again. All right. Here we go. Hmong News are questions at mongnews.org. All right, questions at mongnews.org. I'm from Turkey. Hey, Turkey. Hold on. I'm not doing it again. We broadcast from WordPress, Periscope, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Flickr, VK, LinkedIn, Google Plus. All right. This is the 0900 prayer request time. We're broadcasting from our home in St. Charles, Missouri, right here. I am a Protestant Christian missionary, and our beliefs are only found in one book, the Protestant Christian Bible. The New Testament truths of Jesus. Why should he say, what should he say in the email? What is your name? The Quran. In the email, I was wrong, please forgive me. That's how you apologize to people. You don't say, I'm sorry. We know you're sorry. <laughs> okay, hello. You say, I was wrong, please forgive me. It makes no difference what the other person says. That's your side of the deal. All right, that's what people got to realize. When you ask for prayer, you I cannot pray over someone's free will. I can't make anybody do anything. If they want to be ignorant, then they're going to be ignorant of anything. If a person wants to do drugs, be part of IRA, wants to be a terrorist, wants to be a non-believer, wants to be an atheist, wants this, wants that, saying step by step, uncle, my name is Murph. Saying step by step, Uncle, my name is Murph. I have no idea what that means, but okay. All right, this is the 0900 prayer request time. All right, so when you're praying, as Jesus taught his disciples, it is Father in Jesus' name. I'm asking you for your will to be done in my life regarding whatever the request is. All right, now. Dominic is a father of seven. He has five wives. <laughs> I know it's a joke to you, but I actually lived and worked with people who had three wives up in the Himalayan mountains among hill tribe people. Dominic just sent you an email. All right. All right. Well, we'll just take a look. How's that? All right. We'll see if he did send an email. All right. He sent it questions at mongnews.org. All right. Here it comes. All right. Let's look under junk mail. All right. I don't think. All right. It's not there, my friend. So, all right, okay, uh, okay, look, guys, I just, I did read another email I got from spatial.com. You guys, you don't know what that is, but Spatial.com is the, uh, they created the Sam Blaster, Sam Broadcaster. All right. Hello, hello. This is the 0900 prayer requesting. The Sam Broadcaster program is the internet radio station that you buy, okay? So it's the 0900 prayer request time. Okay, and I'm and I've been having issues with the uh, questions at Mong News 
dot org o r g g not d o r g is that right here here again did the bird uncle <laughs> i'm from russia okay look questions at mongnews.org hey hi russia how are you all right welcome to the 0900 prayer request he sent it. Okay, look, I'm going to check again right now. All right, just hold on. We're going to I'm in the program right now, so let me see. All right, I don't see it in the inbox. Junk email. It's not there. Deleted items. Not there. All right, it's not here yet. Your server might, does it. I don't know where he's at, but you know, sometimes when you send an email, the server, the portal to the server, you know, they will hold things. I don't speak English. Okay. All right. I know I don't speak Russian either. But a lot of times in Asia, they'll hold the packets of email in a certain time and send them through the portal. My name is Merkan. Well, hi, Merkan. Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I believe only in this book, the Protestant Christian Bible, and only the New Testament truths of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist. All right? They're the only ones. All right? That's all. Okay? The truths of Jesus in the way of salvation. Okay, this is the 0900 prayer request time. It's about you asking Jesus to help you in your life. You're saying, Father, in Jesus' name, help me. All right? All right, let's see if we got an email now. Let's see. All right, forgiveness. Okay, hold on. I got the email. Hold on. I want to read it. Okay. <laughs> you want to hear what he wrote? All right, here we go. Look. Hey, Bill. I don't know who Bill is. I'm not sorry. I was correct. You were wrong. I'm a Catholic Christian mission. I hope you will ask me for your forgiveness. I will not pray. I will not pray you. Unkind regards. <laughs> Matthew Irvine. <laughs> Hey, thank you for that email. You, you, you'll see the light one day. <laughs> it's the 0900 prayer request. That's why I need a good laugh this morning. <laughs> okay. I'm reading my understanding and knowing Matthew now in our group. <laughs> in our group. What, what group are you with, man? I have no idea who you are, okay? You like tea? Yes, I do like tea. I'll tell you what, I had some tea from Yunnan, China one time, and it was really great, all right? Okay, that crazy, the crazy loony group. Oh, okay, well, uh, if you, you won't be offended if I don't care. I'm sorry I meant a steady group. Do you smoke weed? Hey, would you like to hear my weed story? You're leading a steady group now. You're just leading a blind, <laughs> leading a blind. That's all. Yes. Okay. Great. My weed story. All right. I was in Vietnam, right? So I volunteered twice. I volunteered the first time to help the communist uh, people, the Vietnamese people, against communist aggression. And I wasn't a Christian. All right. I wasn't a Christian then. Okay. So, <laughs> boo. Okay. So, the second year I volunteered to go back to Vietnam to get my younger brother out, okay? All right, so, but he got shot, wounded, and he came back anyway. But anyway, on the second tour in Vietnam, you know, they had marijuana there in Vietnam, okay? And I watched them guys, they would smoke that marijuana, and they'd act so goofy, all right? So, I said to myself, I said, they're faking it. It's not real. There's nothing to make you act that stupid, right? They're laughing, giggling, and just nutty. So I told one of them old boys, give me one of them things. 
So I took it, but I was scared to death. I didn't want to get caught with drugs, right? <laughs> so I took this thing. It's about as big as my thumb, all right? All right? So to remind you, I'm not a Christian. This is back in 1966, right? All right, so I went out into the motor pool area, uh, and we were by the beach, and there was a lot of sand. So I crawled underneath this while you're old. Yes, I know I'm old. I told you that. All right. So anyway, all right, you'll die soon. Yes, but we got, hey, we got our burial thing. We picked it out. Drove the, it's a nice place by trees. It's nice. It's going to be good. All right. But I'm not out of it yet. So anyway, I crawl underneath the truck and I got this weed about the size of my thumb, right? So I'm laying in the sand underneath this deuce and a half, what they call a two and a half ton truck. And here's the trans, you know, they're really high off the ground, right? So I'm laying underneath there because I don't want anybody to see me smoking that marijuana cigarette, right? So I lit that cigarette up, that marijuana cigarette, about as big as my thumb. And I, and I took it down, I held it, I blowed it out. And it tasted funny, but I didn't think that And about the third time I did that, I was gone, folks. I didn't know where I was at. I was looking up at the truck chassis, the transmission of that truck, and, and started laughing and couldn't figure out where in the world I was at. I don't know how many hours I laid underneath that thing. I couldn't figure out how to get out from underneath this truck. <laughs> So the, the next day, I don't know how I got out from underneath the truck, but the next day, and here's the kicker about using marijuana, the next day I was so paranoid that people were watching me. I mean, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle the paranoia after smoking marijuana. And I know it was playing tricks on my mind. I said, man, I can't, I can't handle this. And that was it for me and the marijuana. So people that are smoking this stuff all the time, they're, they're in another universe, man. They're not normal. And I wouldn't want any association with them. They're, they're one and two steps beyond normal. And if anybody has any any real dealings with them on any kind of level you got to take into consideration you're you're dealing with a looney tune he's not on the same level he's not normal he's high he doesn't know what he's really doing okay don't have nothing to do with it my man if that's it's not good you think you're high and you think you just don't do it it's a road to nowhere, death and destruction. Remember, the devil's out to kill and destroy, and he'll do it to you. Ho, ho, ho. It's the 0900 prayer request. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going off, folks. Today's Thanksgiving. Adios. See you tomorrow. All right? Bye. I think I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't get away from you guys. Ah, oh, well, what's wrong here? All right, hold on. I'm going to... You guys, you're not, you're not keeping me prisoner.